Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new here then welcome, I hope you're all good. So for today's video, a nice quick one, I have been asked so many times recently on how I get these curls that you're seeing right here. This is how I curl my hair. Pretty much the only way I curl my hair, when I wear my hair down, I wear my hair in two ways and that is like these movable like wavy everyday curls which you're seeing here and also a like big bouncy kind of like blow dry vibes but like on short hair so it's just like outward and big and bouncy so those are pretty much the only two ways that I wear my hair when I wear it down other than that it's always shoved up in a bun so yeah I've been getting asked a lot recently about hair tutorials which is mad because I'm actually really not the best person at hair makeup's always been my thing as you know so yeah I've really been quite surprised that people want to see how I do it but I'm going to show you exactly what I use from products to like what curling wand that I use and like any little tips and tricks along the way and I will actually film for maybe next week or maybe in a couple of weeks once you've seen this one um the bouncy blow dry so like how I do it with my rollers and stuff like that so that will be coming as well this is a total random video that I've just decided to film off my own back because honestly every reel I post at the minute there's comments saying please do a hair tutorial or I'm getting dms asking what I'm using at the moment because you all just seem to be loving it and I'm not gonna lie so do I like I really really like my hair like this so yeah it's just a random video that I've just decided to film off my own back now some of the products that I use are hair burst products as you know the rest of them include in the wand I think you can get on look fantastic so I've got a code for both hairbers and look fantastic won't pop it on screen this is in no way an app this video but I do have discount codes so you might as well use them so I'll pop them down below with the product links as well yeah thank you to those that have been requesting how I do it and giving me a chance to do a sit down tutorial video which I haven't done in so long and I really really miss them so thank you for that and I really hope you enjoy it I really hope it's helpful and I'm just gonna shut up and we're gonna get into it okay so my hair is currently wet because i've washed my hair today which is why i'm filming this um and i just thought because of the hair type that i've got if anybody else has got a similar hair type to me i've got like frizzy frizzy like curly hair um naturally it's more so it was curly for a long time growing up now it's more so just on like the crazy frizzy side so a lot of what i do to my hair is like at this point like the products that I use how I dry it quickly before I do curl it because what I used to have to do was blast it just dry it whatever straighten it so it was actually smooth before I could curl it just so my hair wasn't a frizzy mess when I was curling it but now because of like products that I've like tried and tested for a hell of a long time and also just the way that I dry it it eliminates the whole straightening thing in the middle which is great because it's less heat on your hair now I only wash my hair every seven to ten days which I know is probably so gross to so many people but it just works for me my hair doesn't go greasy very quick very lucky in that sense um and I just wear it up quite a lot so I tend to do either this or the other way that I do my hair the big bouncy blow dry on hair wash day and then it will last me like a good week at least I'm very very lucky um and then I can just do some everyday styling if I need to so yeah my hair is freshly washed so what I put in it first is so I use two products when my hair is like this freshly washed and they are the hair burst elixir and the color wow dream coat spray god that was a mouthful um this I use every single day without fail it's one of my favorite hair products ever on the market so yeah I use this for my everyday styling don't go a day without using this because I feel like it really does give my hair the growth element and just creates a nice environment for my hair to grow in as for the color wow um dream coat spray this stuff is a miracle worker if you do have a hair type like mine if you have frizzy hair or if you just don't want humidity to get to your hair or anything like that then you really really need to try this I was using Using this wrong for so long i've used it for a while and i've always thought it was amazing now that i'm using it correctly it's even more amazing i saw a video i think chris appleton did a video for color wow and i was just spraying this like sparingly across my hair as i would like the elixir or any heat protection that's not how you do it you have to like literally coat your hair from like top to bottom in this like really soak it and then dry it in and this actually lasts I think it's yeah three to four shampoos now obviously for me it's probably just every time I wash my hair because I leave it so long but if you're more of a regular washer you don't actually have to use this every time because the product stays in your hair which is unreal I'll just spray this kind of like all over my root just when I'm doing a fresh wash because obviously I'm going to go in with the dream coat more so on the ends um, and really soak the hair with that but yeah I use this every single day all over my hair kind of from then onwards because I only use the dream coat on the first day that I've washed it then with the dream coat like I say you really want to soak your hair I was literally just doing like a few sprays either side but Chris Appleton even takes like one strand of hair and soaks it literally oh, from root to tip 
and yeah it's just mad the difference it makes because you think oh my god that's way too much product it's not it's supposed to be used like that it's made to be used like that so you just want to literally soak your whole hair in it basically and then i'll just kind of separate it like halfway and make sure that i'm getting the underneath bits that i've missed and just soaking this side in the color wow so this is a lula bells brush but it's like one of those vented brushes i feel like this is great for when your hair is like still a bit wet and also for getting product through all the way and making sure that it's even because it goes through the hair really nicely when it's wet so i just use that to make sure it's brushed all the way through all my knots are gone and then i take a different type brush when i'm going in with my hair dryer to dry it so i really like to smooth my hair down when i'm drying it with a hair dryer like i said this is what eliminates the straightening element before i curl my hair so you want to take like a paddle style brush i feel like everybody's got a brush like this haven't they and then taking my hair dryer i just have this nozzle on it i've got hair everywhere this is just a ghd is it the helios hair dryer i don't know all my tools are battered by the way you'll notice that they're literally they're just battered they're not new they're not specifically for this video it's genuinely just what i use every single day so i turn the heat up to the top one and then i put the power on the middle one because i don't want it to blast my hair i want to like smooth dry it i just use the nozzle to like go in the direction of my party which smooths all my flyaways down firstly then taking the paddle brush i literally grab the hair into the brush percent dry right now it's not completely dried down yet but what i do depending on how my hair is how it's behaving if i get to this point and i feel like it needs a bit of extra something something again just to battle frizz i will add in this next product and then dry the other 20 percent of it down with this product in this is the hair burst smoothing balm you would have seen me rave about this before i need a new bottle very soon this is the hydrating and smoothing hair balm by hair burst i literally use two pumps rub it into my hands like this getting it mainly on my fingertips and then i literally kind of like claw it through on each side and then any residue any excess once it's been clawed through rubbed together again and then smooth down against my parting on these flyaways and then this when it's dried into your hair you can use it wet or dry on wet or dry hair when it's dried into your hair it just works absolute wonders but yeah these are products the ones i've just showed you that i obviously use when i'm drying my hair before i curl it not obviously when i just everyday curl it we will come to those products in a second but i just thought this might be quite helpful but let me go dry the rest of my hair anyway okay it's dry moving on to how i curl it how i've been doing it mainly lately which is what you all want to see this is the one that i use it is the beauty works molly may kit volume two i believe i have had this now for a while it's covered in makeup and at first i only ever used to use it when i had like my extensions in so i used to have super long extensions if you don't know they're like 24 inch and this was just perfect it gave the perfect curl for those then i got my hair cut quite short at the moment it's like mid it's like short mid hair because um, it's grown so much like so much it's so thick at the minute yeah i just thought this wouldn't work on it so i started using like a smaller wand and it would just make my hair too like noodly and curly so i switched back to this and the the finish it gives me on this length hair is actually probably how i prefer it compared to how it used to when i had long hair so yeah this is great for all hair lengths because if you've got the long hair i'll try and find a picture of me when i had my extensions in and how i used to curl it and i'll pop it in here um if you have that length hair or like extensions or super long hair naturally because you're a blessed queen then that's how it will kind of create more of like a loose curl like still like a really relaxed look but it will definitely curl your hair more than when you do it on like the short to mid length hair it's more of just like creating a movement in your hair still kind of gives a little bit of a curl but it's more like a a kink like a wave which is a bit of body bit of movement and yeah it's just so so good so this is the one that i use beauty works molly may curl kit volume two. yeah i absolutely love it so i just turn it right up to what it goes to i think it's 220 and then i section my hair now this bit is quite important because if you section your hair in too many sections or if you try and get the strands of hair like all the same when you're wrapping it around the wand it's going to look too uniform it's not going to look like the vibe we're going for because we want it to be like quite messy kind of a bit like 
just kind of thrown it together really effortless basically so i section my hair in three sections i would do it in two just like do the bottom and then do the top but the reason why i do three is purely because my bottom bits are like quite hard for me to get to um because i have to go behind with the wand because my hair's not very long so i'll show you that but yeah first section i just literally do like from behind my ears so like the proper like bottom section of my hair and i just clip this part of my hair up and out the way just with any clip so i just grab literally like i say i have no like way that i do it or like i just grab any amount of hair and i go quite close to the top because yeah my hair's quite short so i need to i can only literally wrap around like twice and then i just hold it for like 10 seconds or whatever and then by the time that i let it down I just really loosely, I still pinch the tip, so I always keep the end out, and I still pinch the tip when I'm letting it down, and I just kind of like wiggle the wand out of it, and still like hold the shape of the curl just for a couple of seconds before I let go of the end, if that makes sense, if you can see that. Then again, no particular amount of hair that I'm grabbing because I do like it to look really messy, and then this is because this lower section is quite hard to get to, this is where I start going behind with the wand. And once I've done like the left, because obviously it's all got the right hand side to go, that's when I will spray it with hairspray. So I will spray it kind of before it fully cools down. This is just a basic Alnet hairspray, just a strong hold, shiny one. I'm just literally go over it like that just while it's cooling down. Okay, so once I've curled and also sprayed the other side with the hairspray, I don't brush any of it out, any of the hairspray out or anything, or brush the curls out until it's all completely done, like my whole head. So then I just move on to the next section. And for this section, I basically just wanna take away like my top bits from like here really upwards, just so I can curl everything that's underneath that. And then again, just in two halves, grabbing just any random section and then going in with the wand and just holding a little bit of it out at the end here letting go of it slowly just like bouncing the wand out and then leaving that curl to just sit for a second whilst it cools down while i grab the next section okay so once this middle section is done just giving it all a spray just before i let down this top section my front bits here which is like my slightly shorter bits i do like to curl these quite tight just because I feel like they drop quicker because you tend to play with them more. And I just feel like it looks nice when it's like tighter towards the front and then like flows to a looser curl at the back, if that makes sense. That's kind of like how I get this look really. And then I'll just keep going on this top section from front to back, literally until the rest of it is curled. So once the top section is done and you can see it's just like starting to fall together quite nicely, obviously it looks really neat right now because it's not been brushed out i'm just going to give it a quick spray all over this top section just kind of pinning down any front frizzy bits here and then all over the ends and then this is the important bit is like what you use on it to brush it out this is like a wide tooth comb i guess you could say as you can see mine is broken i've got a few of these and this one's seen a few nights out to say the least so yeah it's um had better days but this is my favorite one to use it's by naomi Chantal hair i don't know if you've seen them yeah, i've literally had this exact one for years and i love it so much and i just comb it through just kind of from like root to end just making it feel a lot less tight basically and you can see because of the kind of curl it's given it just kind of like bounces back up I love it so much when it's curled like this. And the same on the other side, just making sure I go right through from back to front and from top to bottom, just making it a lot less uniform, a lot more just kind of natural vibes rather than it being too curled. I just kind of just keep fiddling with it, keep brushing with it until I'm happy with it, until it all looks how I want it to. And then that is when I will add in some final product. Okay, so hair oils, one of my favorite things to use in my hair when I'm styling. I feel like a lot of people shy away from using hair oils because they think it'll make their hair greasy or they think they're gonna need to wash it soon after styling it. If you use them right, don't use too much of it. They are so good for your hair. Like honestly, my hair loves an oil. It really adds in some extra moisture, some extra hydration that after styling and putting heat on your hair, your hair actually really needs. Now I have loads of oils that I love. I am going on it hair burst about creating a hair burst oil and bringing it out so i'm working on it but but i do love the oils that kerastase do i feel like kerastase is such a top tier 
hair styling hair company i love that oil so much so this is the elixir or team i think that's how you say it this is the gold bottle they also do a rose version of this which is in a pinkier bottle they do smaller versions this is the big version um and i just love it so much i've had this only now for a couple of days because i opened it a couple of days ago a new bottle and it's just my favorite thing so i use two pumps in the palm of my hands which is quite a generous amount you can use just one if you want to and again just kind of getting it even all over my hands it feels so nice honestly just getting it even all over my hands and using the claw motion again just like bouncing it through the ends this stuff smells so good makes my hair feel so good really adds a lot of added shine and this is great like when you're separating your curls too just to like work it in it's just like another way of making it look really loose and then the same on the other side I've just left like the right amount on this palm for that side just to go through working it through my front bits as well making sure it's at the back i just love a hair oil guys honestly don't knock it till you've tried it just start the kerastase ones are great there's also a sebastian professional one that i love um i can't remember what it's called i think that's like a sun protection one there's loads loads of hair oils are like great hair spfs um, which is obviously great if you have like lighter hair or like bleach in your hair because it does need protecting a lot more from the sun than if you are darker but yeah I really really recommend hair oils for like finishing off a look because just look at the shine that that's added into my hair just by popping that in it literally makes such a difference and when your hair is shiny when it's curled it picks up the light so the curls look a lot more like they're there if that makes sense now final thing i always use dry shampoo in my hair now i know you're thinking ash you've literally washed your hair about an hour ago but the thing that was revolutionary for me when i learned it i don't even know where i heard it is that why do we wait until our hair starts getting greasy or is greasy to use the dry shampoo and we should be using it more as like a preventative and i was like that is great um, now obviously I go to the gym five days a week minimum sometimes six and I weight train and I get very sweaty and for somebody that only washes their hair once a week that's not always a good thing so dry shampoo really prevents my scalp from getting sweaty not only that another top tip speaking of going to the gym and being somebody um, that needs to prevent the hair from getting greasy quite a lot deodorant in your hairline not only just the dry shampoo but deodorant in your hairline when your hair's up in the morning ready to go to the gym just pop a bit of deodorant at the back of your neck in your hairline and honestly it will really really help like the antiperspirant side of it so yeah dry shampoo i use every day and the reason why is because one like i say it prevents my hair from getting greasy when i rarely rarely wash it to be honest and also it adds so much volume and body and texture you only need a tiny bit and obviously as your hair gets greasier and the days go on you can add more but on like my first day it's kind of just more like around the edges for a bit of body a bit of something something it's just like something for your hair to grip onto and like stay up and be bouncy if that makes sense so just kind of add it in in like random sections this is the world's best dry shampoo if you're not already onto it obviously hair burst the only one i've ever loved like the only one that genuinely doesn't give you white marks doesn't feel talky doesn't feel clingy to your hair you can actually get your fingers through your hair yeah it's just the best i just love it so much that's basically it i'm pretty much good to go just get my hair back to where i want it how i want it to sit around my face and that is it the finished look really messy movable curls that just kind of look like you just got up it's a few days old and doesn't look too like dream curly if that makes sense um this is how i prefer my hair to be curled i know so many people go for this kind of vibe it's like very like bohemian and um, like when you're on holiday and you want a nice loose curl and it's like beach vibes this is just perfect for that yeah i really can't believe how many people have asked lately how i do this like i feel like it's because i haven't sat down and done a tutorial style video for so long where they used to be quite common here on my youtube channel so if this is something that has been helpful good for you or even relatively interesting then let me know down below if you've enjoyed it because i'll definitely do more things like this because i feel like they're great for like my wednesday content obviously not my sunday vlog days but yeah if you want to see more like other hair tutorials obviously i'm going to film my big bouncy blow one for you um but yeah any other hair tutorials like how i do my slick bun or like high ponies literally anything and any makeup we need to revisit makeup here on this channel that used to be all that with here and as we go into spring summer there's going to be lots of that because you all know that i love like glowy summer looks so there's going to be lots of that so anything specific you want to see tutorial wise then please comment down below and let me know or just let me know if you enjoyed it at least all product links will be down below i'll pop everything down there like i said there are discount codes down there if you're going to buy something then you might as well use them highly recommend the curling wand so yeah great that can get you that discounted and yeah that's everything this is the finished look and i will see you all in sunday's vlog bye